Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll show you how you can make a connection with Mongo database using Python. So for that, I am opening Mongo database official website. So I have to go to MongoDB and if I click on the first link, it will redirect me to MongoDB official website. So this is the official website. <clears throat> okay, so I have to make a connection between my code base and Mongo database. Okay, so as I showed you in the previous videos, like we have the Mongo database Atlas and Mongo Compass as well. So in this video, we are making a connection through Mongo Compass, okay, which is our local database. So for that, I have to open the Compass. So I'm opening Compass. So it is MongoDB Compass. So if you type Mongo, so it will give you the option like MongoDB Compass. Just simply click on this and it will open the uh, local database. Okay, but before that you have to check like whether your database is running fine or not. So in previous video, I have showed you like how you can check like whether MongoDB is working fine in your uh, port number 27017 or not. So that command is already given. Okay, so in Mongo Compass, I have created one collection, which is uh, this one YouTube demo. Okay, so uh, if I'm opening this, so you can see like there are three database. So I'm going to make a connection between this Mongo Compass and my code base. Okay, so how to make this? I'm removing this for your uh, understanding. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to make a new connection. Okay, how to make that? Simply click on add a new connection, this one. So you can see like MongoDB localhost 27017 that is already there. It means like it is running. So if you want to check like whether it is running fine or not, you can simply go ahead and give the command in the comment box and you can test whether the Mongo database is running fine. Mongo server basically is running in your system or not. Okay, so I'm going to give a name like YouTube demo. So this is, per, this is the database name for my uh, connection and color, you can select any color. <clears throat> you may not select, this is not mandatory, but I'm selecting like blue. Okay. <clears throat> and advanced option you don't need to select anything and simply go and save and connect okay so this connection is created you can see like there are three default databases which is admin config and local okay in the upcoming videos i'll show you like how you can create a user in admin database but in this video i'm going to connect this youtube demo with my python code that's it okay so this will be a simpler video in the upcoming days i'll go to more complex concepts okay so now we have to go to the documentation to see what is the code available and what are the drivers available for connecting Mongo database compass from our local. Okay. So for that, I have to go to resources. Okay. So you can see like uh, there are so many things available, tools and connectors, MongoDB drivers. So you can see like MongoDB drivers. So basically I have to click this. MongoDB drivers means there are so many drivers available. Like there are so many languages like C, C++, C, C, Hash, Go, Java, Kotlin, Node.js, PHP, Python, Ruby, Scala, Swift, and TypeScript. So many languages are available. So based on your choice, you can select any of the languages. So I'm selecting Python. <clears throat> so if I'm clicking on Python, it will redirect me to this page. Okay. So you can see like PyMongo, this is the default browser. This is the default uh, package for Mongo database. Okay. So I have to click on the get started with MongoDB Python, this option. So if I'm clicking this, it will redirect me to the, this page, MongoDB Python drivers. And there are some documentation like by Mongo documentation to learn how to install and begin with MongoDB driver. So what I did is, what I'll do is I will simply uh, activate my Miniconda environment. So I have already installed that by Mongo. Conda env list. So if I'll give Conda env list, it will give me all the list. So I think I have installed PyMongo in this environment. So Conda activate VNV sample version. And I have to navigate to desktop and that's it. So if I give pip list, you can see like PyMongo is already installed, I guess. Yeah, PyMongo I have already installed. So if you didn't install PyMongo, you can simply give pip install py mongo okay so you can see like requirement already satisfied so this is a very small file around 777 kb so you can install this and that is the driver for our mongo database that's it okay so first step is already done and we have to go to the next step okay so what is the next step so next step is next step is uh let me go back so first step is already done see sorry i have to go to python 
so python driver is this okay so pymongo documentation is already done and then i have to go to using mongodb with python okay so i'm clicking this let me see what are the documentation available so this is actually a course which is uh, not i'm going through right now so let me go back again so i have to explore like where is the code base available so here so there are pymongo is available i'm clicking this okay okay now we can redirect to this page so if you are clicking the next option like pymongo drivers so if i'm clicking this i'm redirect to this page okay so tutorial that is already done connect to mongo database this is a second step so simply i'm clicking this option connect to mongodb section so if i'm clicking this you can see like there are some code is available and connection is also available so simply i'm copying this code like this copied and i have to go to vs code and i have to paste this okay so client see i have to make a client so for client also they have provided this one uri this is in local host and client mongodb uri okay so these things i need to mention over here okay so and try this much things or comment i don't need okay this is also not need okay simply what we are checking is we are importing mongo client uri we are mentioning mongodb colon double slash localhost and 27017 this is the url and then client mongo client and we are passing uri and this client we are checking that admin command ping and then print successfully or connect it successfully and then we are closing the client and this is for the exception it is written so uh, so this is the basic code okay we will try to execute this code and then we will uh, try to see like uh, whether it is connected successfully or not and we, we can list down all the databases so for that i have to go to mini contact prompt and i have to give python python and my file name my file name is mongodb.py so you can see like connected successfully okay so my database is connected successfully you can see the command okay now i need to see like what are the databases available inside that particular uh, mongodb compass which i have created okay so these are the databases like admin config and local so i want to see those databases so how to do that so for that i have to write some code for i in client dot okay so client dot means uh, basically client we have made and whatever the command available you can get under this client so as i uh, taught you in my previous videos like if you want to see whatever the package or whatever the modules available in any specific package or module you need to give a dot and then you need to scroll down okay or, or else you can do one thing you can simply give dir and then print you will get all the uh, functions available inside that particular module okay so for client i want to list down all the databases name okay so this for i in this i have to print i okay so i'm going to print all the database name over here okay so let me try to execute this program so i'm cleaning this and again i'm executing this so you can see like connected successfully and admin config local so these three databases are available inside that particular uh, document not document what i can see is collection so basically if i'm going there so there is admin config and local those are the documents available inside this youtube demo collection okay so basically those are the tables available under youtube demo database so basically now mongodb is a no sql database so in this concept we are not using the database and table traditional terms we are using uh, we are using the uh, what i can say document and uh, this this youtube demo is your collection okay collection is a uh, collection of documents okay so this admin config and local these three uh, documents we got there okay so this is the first step of your connection using python and uh, mongo database so in the next video i'll show you how you can connect your mongodb atlas with python code okay so i'm stopping the video here if you guys are clear then fine and please subscribe to my channel and if you have any question or queries please give me a suggestion in the comment box i'll surely respond to your comment until then stay tuned and goodbye